everyone, welcome to Lily's Design. Today, I'll show you how to transfer this design to a t-shirt. For this demo, we'll be making a matching shirt for your American Girl doll and your child. But you can use the same process to put it on adult shirt, tote bag, joggers, sweatshirt, apron, pillow, just about anything with cotton material. What you will need is an inkjet printer, a iron, scissors, a ruler, a pillowcase, a child shirt, doll shirt, and if you'd like to make this doll shirt, I have a step-by-step -step tutorial along with a free pattern. I'll list that link down below in the description. And last, we need some fabric transfer paper. And I like to use Avery. There is other ones out there, but be careful because the quality is not as good. If you're going to buy them, please test it on a sample material before putting it on a shirt. If you would like to purchase the Avery Light fabric transfer, I'll list a link down below in the description. To create my transfer, I will be using Avery Design. But before we head over to their website, you should download my free arrows if you want to make the best friend shirt. You will find the download down in the description and you want to download both the arrow top and the arrow bottom. All right, let's head over to Avery.com. You will find you need to make an account to use their software, but the good news is it's free to use. Once you have an account set up, we're going to click template, then click find a template. You want to scroll down and click the plus sign that says view more. Scroll down a little more and click fabric and t-shirt transfer. Click light t-shirt transfer. We will be clicking upload a design. Now you need to select portrait or landscape. This is how your paper will go in the printer. I will be choosing portrait. So I will click select and customize right below. Select a file, click it. Find the arrow that you downloaded. I'm going to start off with the arrow top. Once it loads, hit apply this design. We will be making the transfer for the doll shirt first, and we need the arrow to be three inches. To do this, go ahead and click your arrow so it is highlighted. Scroll over to the left here, scroll down, and before we change the size, make sure your lock aspect ratio is checked. If it's not, go ahead and check that. Now go over to the width box and highlight it, or you can backspace it. Type in three and hit enter. Your height will automatically resize. It's hard to view it, so we'll go ahead up to the top here, move our dial over and zoom in a little bit better. Now you wanna grab your arrow and move it up to the top here of the page. Next, we will add the best friends. To do that, click the text. You can choose add text box or add a curved text. I will be choosing add a text box and then we'll click easy text fill and you can backspace the first box and type in best and hit enter so the friends go on to the next line. Click apply. And if you don't see your text, it's down at the bottom here. So you wanna go ahead and move it up and you'll see that these have stitches. When it has stitches like that, that means it's not highlighted. And once you click these lines, now you'll see a black line around it that is highlighted. When you have it highlighted like that, you can come over here and do your changes. I need a size of 56 for the font, and I'm gonna change the font to Pacifico. And now I wanna change the color to be red. You can keep it black if you like, but I'm gonna change it to the color that matches the arrow. So to do that, click the color wheel, and you can choose these other choices. Hit the eyedropper and click on the arrow to get that color. And there you go, it changed it. Once you have that done, we'll go ahead and make this box smaller by hitting on these dots. Like that. And we'll move up the best friends. All right, now we need to get the bottom arrow. So click image, add image. And we need to find the bottom arrow. Click it and click open. Once again, we need to resize that. 
So type in three, enter. And you can play around and move this. You can also use your keyboard if you have it highlighted. Once you're satisfied with that, let's go ahead and make the child size shirt. To make it easier on you, I went ahead and did the measurements for the following shirt sizes. So if you need to find out what the width of the arrow is for a four toddler size shirt, you just check on this white line and you'll see that you need a six inch wide arrow. And the font size is going to be 144. Now I will be doing a child size girls 1012, which is a large size shirt, and I will need a seven inch width and I will need the font size to be 163. So those are the measurements I will be using for this tutorial. All right, let's get back to our software. First thing we'll do is click the bottom arrow and up here you want to click copy, paste. And then we're going to go ahead and drag that arrow down to the very bottom. While we have it highlighted, let's go ahead and change the width. My width was 7 inches. You can put in what your width is and then hit in enter. I'm going to go ahead and line this up now. Go back up to the top, click on best friends, copy, paste, drag this down to the bottom. And you want to pull on these dots it as wide as your arrow. You don't have to be perfect when you do adjustments afterwards. Once you have your box highlighted and it's black all the way around, type in your number that you have. Mine was 163 and enter. Your letters go down like that where the D is. Just open this box up and that will fix it. I'm going to line mine up now. And the last one we have to do is the arrow top. Copy, paste, drag it, and put in your width. Once you have it the way you like it, and you have it all lined up, and you can zoom out a little bit just to see if that's the way you want it, we will click Preview and Print. Click Print. And save this. This way, if you want to come back to it, it's online for you to take it anytime and use it. Hit save. You can name it if you like. No big deal. Save it to your account. Yes. Hit OK. Download PDF. This will download it to your computer. OK. And you can choose these choices if you like or just exit out. Let's go ahead and find our software. If your printer don't load, then you can either click printer here or you can click file, hit print. What's nice about this software, it automatically mirrored the image for us, so we do not have to do that. If you have a couple of different printers, you want to make sure you're choosing the inkjet printer, hit properties, choose photo, paper, mat, click OK. Scroll down, click print. Make sure your paper is placed in the correct direction. Now let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes to let the ink dry. For the doll transfer, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it as a square. It's a little difficult to get into these small spaces and it's not worth it. For the child shirt, there's a few options. The first one would be the easiest and that is just go ahead and cut it as a whole square and iron it on. The next choice would be cut out the arrows and leave best friends as a square. And the last option would be just cut it all out. It's time consuming but I believe it's going to look a lot nicer and that is what I'm going to do. If you choose to cut it out, cut as close as you can to the ink leaving a little white. And don't worry, when you peel back the paper, it will be clear, not white. You want to be careful not to touch the ink when cutting it out. I'm going to cut the other arrow and best friend off camera so I can move this video along quicker. Grab your iron, empty any water you have in it, turn it to cotton setting, turn off the steam, then set it aside for five minutes while it heats up. 
You don't want to use an ironing board. Use a hard surface that can withstand heat. Let's grab our pillowcase, place it on your hard surface, then go ahead and press out any wrinkles in the pillowcase. Grab your shirt, and we want to go ahead and press the shirt to get the wrinkles out as well as getting some heat on the shirt so that it will absorb the ink a lot better. You mostly need the area you go into iron on, that needs to be pressed. Place your design on the shirt, then place your iron on top, being careful not to move the design. Apply firm pressure and hold it in place for 20 seconds. Repeat on this next area. Now slowly move your iron back and forth, making sure you are going over the edges. My instructions say I should iron for three minutes. You should follow what your instructions state for your transfer paper. When you're done pressing, let it cool for two minutes. Once your transfer has cooled for two minutes, try to lift a corner and slowly peel it back. As you can see, mine is lifted. And if yours is not, you want to go ahead and press it again and let it cool for two minutes. That's it. You're all finished with the child shirt. Apply the transfer to the doll shirt and we are done. Congratulations, everyone. I enjoyed this easy to do project and I hope you did too. And now that you know how to apply the transfer, you'll want to head over to Google to find more images for your item. Have fun everyone and thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the bell. So this way you'll be notified when my next video comes out. Have a great day everyone. Bye bye.